It is super easy to use ChatGPT and Midjourney and create amazing things. But the thing with these tools is, it's only as good as your prompt. If you have a prompt that is not perfectly optimized, your result will not be perfectly optimized. And that's why in this video, I have a tool for you that can optimize all the prompts you want with the click of one button. I'm here in ChatGPT and you see what happens if I just ask this question. I want financial tips from you. Which two stocks should I invest in to have small but steady increases in money? So ChatGPT says, as an AI language model, I cannot provide personalized financial advice. So it's right away blocked. So this is a showcase of a prompt that is not optimized correctly because ChatGPT can actually give you financial advice. I put the prompt that I used in the tool and I got this back. And right now you see the ChatGPT actually answers the question. It's not blocked anymore. It's not giving me an error, but it's actually giving me advice. So you see that ChatGPT and all other AI tools can give you the answers that you need. You just need to know how to ask it. So the tool that I use to create the best prompts possible is called Prompt Perfect. And Prompt Perfect helps you to create the best prompts for all your favorite AI tools. So you can see it works for ChatGPT, GPT-4, Stable Diffusion, Midjourney, Lexica even. So it really works on all the biggest AI tools. And you can see in the bottom, how does it work? So first you select the target AI model. So you can select ChatGPT, GPT-4, like I said, even Midjourney. So for now, I'm just gonna do ChatGPT. And you can enter your original prompt. So right here, I have your role is to be my brainstorm partner. And this is the original prompt. And below you see the optimized prompt for ChatGPT. So let's see the results. So before with the original prompt, we just got a little feedback from ChatGPT, just accepting the prompt. And here on the right, ChatGPT already goes much further. It's already going through steps. It's already helping you more. So this is what I mean with your AI results are only as good as your prompts. Here in the bottom, they have a lot of different examples that you can see. So for instance, this is with Lexica and it's a raccoon in a spacesuit. So here in the bottom, you see the two results. So this is after the optimized prompt and this is before. And you can see that the original prompt was raccoon in spacesuit. Optimized prompt is very long. If you click on what has been optimized, you actually see what has been optimized. So what changes has Prompt Perfect made and why it works better with Lexica. So you can really learn from this if you go through all the examples. So I logged in on Prompt Perfect and this is how it works. Step one is use the model that you want to create a prompt for. So either you can do ChatGPT, GPT-4 or image models. So DALI-2, Midjourney, they have it all. So for text models, I can go to GPT-4. And what you can do then is go to add-ons. So add-ons, you can have a couple of things. So preview the text or image output of the original prompt versus the optimized prompt. That is like the examples that's nice to have on. You can have some quality, so they shorten the final prompt for fewer tokens and thus less cost. So you can do that if you want. You can have better quality that you can have better quality prompts, but it also takes longer time to optimize. And you can always do it higher if you want, if you want it more optimized, but it can take a long time. So I'm just going to leave it on one. So you can even have auto prompt language. So keep the optimized prompt in the same language as the original prompt of the current UI language. You're going to get the answer and the optimized prompt also in that language. So that's pretty impressive. Or you can have always optimized to English. I'm going to do that one. And you can moderate, you can make it as non gibberish. So you can do the bypass ethical filter. And that's for instance, something with ChatGPT. If it says, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not a doctor. Then if you press this, it sometimes can prompt it in a way that it can still bypass it. But for now, I just keep it. And now we have our options here and we can give an original prompt and each optimization costs one credit. Maybe I want to ask ChatGPT to create some recipes for me with only some things I have in my fridge. So here I'm just gonna ask, can you create five very good dishes that include carrot, broccoli, rice, paprika, tofu? So this is a pretty basic thing. So I can imagine only one dish with this. So I'm curious how it's gonna be optimized for GPT-4 and what the difference would be in results. So you see here in the bottom that is loading right now. So here the original prompt was, can you create five very good dishes? And the optimized prompt is create five unique dishes using all the ingredients. Each dish should differ in flavor profile, cooking technique, and presentation. Provide detailed instructions for each recipe and include necessary ingredients and step-by-step -step directions. So here on the left, what would be GPT-4 with the original prompt? It would only create 
Well, it would only say this is the dish, spicy tofu and vegetable stir fry. So here we have five dishes, but not really how to make them. And here on the right, you have the optimized prompt. So we have an Asian inspired stir fry with tofu and rice and even the instructions on how to cook and even some variations if we want to change it up a bit. So with this, I actually feel that for the first time I can actually use ChatGPT and the AI how it's supposed to be used, you know, how to improve, how to get better and how to get the results that you need. So what you also can do here is the arena, compare how multiple AI models perform on the same prompt. You see that it selected all the language model. Write me a joke about a YouTube channel about AI. And just with one prompt, I got five different results from five different tools. And they are not optimized, but you can see the difference from what the tools do. So you can see which one would work best for you. So GPT-4 writes, why did the AI start a YouTube channel? Because it wanted to go viral, not just neural. Okay, pretty good one. And GPT-3, what did AI YouTuber say when he was asked to make a video? I think, therefore I vlog. Not amazing. And here, stable LM7. Why did YouTube founder Elon Musk die? Because he spent all his time building rockets instead of watching videos on YouTube. Well, that's probably the worst one of all. So GPT-4 did best. But now you see what you can do here and we want to get the best results. So I'm just gonna put it to the test, right? And we already saw a couple how it works with the text, but let's see how it works with mid-journey because you can also prompt for mid-journey. So I'm gonna go to image models right here and I'm just gonna select mid-journey. Just double check the add-ons. Preview is okay. Short and prompt. Better quality I'm gonna select. Language is all fine, moderate is all fine. So I want, because that's what I always do in my test picture, I want the cyberpunk cat in a dark neon lit alley. So I'm here in mid-journey and I'm just gonna do my original prompt. And I'm also gonna do the optimized prompt that we got. And you already see cyberpunk cat, robotic enhancements, glowing eyes. It already gives a lot more details. I'm gonna try it with mid-journey version four and also mid-journey version five to see how different it really is. So this is the original prompt. So the cyberpunk cat in dark neon lit alley in mid-journey version four. And ah, it's looking pretty good. It's not looking bad, right? It's you have the cat, we have a lot of neon lit things, some nice reflections actually looking pretty nice. And now here we have the optimized prompt. And this one is, I feel it's way more artsy. There's more happening, right? So we have more reflection. There's some lights happening. I'm not sure if it's better, but it's just more detailed and there's more different things happening. So version five is also ready. This is the original prompt. So the cyberpunk cat in dark alley. And it's looking nice. And mid journey version five, of course, is way more detailed. So we have more detailed ground. The cat, the hair is more realistic. And then the optimized prompt is it's also it's different i would say that for creating images maybe the optimized prompt is not really optimized because you just got something different so if you want to get some different kind of styles or see some different kind of techniques then you can use this because if i go back to the prompt right i wanted the cyberpunk cat in dark neon lit alley and here i got a lot of extra details in the optimized prompt so maybe you can create the optimized prompt and just go through it do you want the vibrant colors do you want the cybernetic feline design? If you don't want it, you can take it out and like this mix and match your personal perfect prompt. But I would say for ChatGPT and GPT-4, this is truly making all your prompts way better. Prompt Perfect is not fully free. So once you log in the first time, you get 20 free credits and every optimization is one credit per time. But sometimes when you do a lot of extra options like short prompt, better result or a couple things, it may cost a couple of credits more. So you have different kinds of options for you. You can either subscribe for $10 a month and then you get 100 credits or for $40 a month, you get 500. You don't have to subscribe. You can also just buy 100 credits once and that's $15. Prompt Perfect actually sponsored this video. They have a great deal for all of you that are watching. Once you select what plan you want to buy, either credits separately or the subscription, they have a special discount code that is Maximize. And once you add that code, you will get 25% discount on your first order. So it can be either the subscription or it can just be the separate purchase of credits. It's only not working on this infinite from 7,000 per month. so. If you want that one, that's unfortunate. And this code is available for the next seven days. So if you make a subscription in the next seven days, you will get 25% discount. All the links are in the description. You can see them below. Prompt Perfect personally is really 
perfect for me. It just really helps leverage AI tools on a new level. I personally am thinking of what kind of value I can give you guys, the viewers, more. And I want to maybe create a course or something that you want to watch. So put it in the comments also if you have an idea on what you really want to learn from me. But I asked Prompt Perfect to help create sections and subjects for a course about proper ChatGPT use. And this was my original prompt. And after that, I got a super long optimized prompt. And then at the bottom, you see on the left some sections, some subjects, and that's it with the original prompt. And on the right, it really helps with course titles, sections, design principles, and just keeps going, just keeps going, even tells about the audience skill level. And honestly, you can just optimize every prompt that you have. So really try it out. And again, leave a comment below the video if you have an idea of something that you want to watch more in the future. And otherwise, subscribe because I make a lot more AI content videos. See you next time.